Medic. Clear. New commander reporting for duty. Clear. All clear. Position under control. Out. You gotta admit, BF2 chopper fights were the best. You cannot deny it. Better than Bad Company. Better than Battlefield 3 days. Yeah, I think the really powerful chopper gun is part of it. Oh man, I even forgot this uh, forgiving team killers with page up, page down stuff. Studied for about 30 minutes for chemistry exam. Should be fine. Oh, yeah. You should be fine. Also, another instinct of Battlefield 2 that seems to bear out is the instinct to spot enemies before you even engage them. It usually pays out just because of how good the map is and how important the info is. All clear. Position under control. Out. So I saw something that said it was going back to the, uh, whatever that thing's called, the way you communicate in Battlefield 2. Uh, I'm hoping they're not doing that to yeah. the Camaros. Hoping, uh, hope they don't do that to the spotting though, because I mean it's kind of annoying to have to actually press the button and click to spot. I think it's yeah, both. I, I completely agree with that. Well, it, it's a simple solution. Just have one press be the spot by default. Well, spot and socialize, like ask for ammo junk. And have the long press be the combo rows. Yeah, that'd work. It's like the easiest solution. Then again, that's so easy, it might mean DICE will not do it. This show is and your channel. Welcome. Oh man, I started a new liberal crime squad game on fucking nightmare mode. What's nightmare mode like? Uh, literally 100% of the population starts out as full conservative, and they have roaming death squads that will kill you for jaywalking. So, Pinochet regime. So it's like real life. I mean, you'll be fucking, like, traveling to a location, and you'll say, a death squad noticed you hey, jaywalking, worker, you got and a attack you. Budget? That's awesome. There'll be, like, 20 of them, oh, they'll all be armed with fucking axes and shotguns. Fortunately, my cheat still works, so... I just chop their heads off. Hey, well, my, my death squad all yells, death to America, death to Israel, Allah is great. I made a felony arrest today, you mad? Jesus fuck, you're a cop too? I'm not a cop, remember? I'm a freaking security guard? So, fake cop. Yeah. I'm actually, I do loss prevention. It's, I'm not really a security guard. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you. The fucking Best Buy Red Cop. Yep. At least you yep, actually do something. So has anybody ever like beat the shit out of you or? No, I thought this guy was gonna stab me with his knife today, but he didn't. Why didn't he? I don't know. I, I was kind of trying to figure that one out myself, because honestly, it was just me between him and the door. He was bigger than me, and he had a knife, and I had him locked in my closet. And it's like, uh, can you please step away from the knife, sir? Wait, you had him locked in a closet? Yeah. So he could have kicked the shit out of you, and there would have been no witnesses. Uh, it, there's another person standing on the other side of the door, so as soon as he started kicking the shit out of me, there'd be witnesses. Well, well. Still. And as much as I like the convenience of offhand grenade throwing, I do miss having to select them in a way. Oh, but hey, it looks like I'm gonna need another gunner. Anybody want to go? Their prices are jacked up on everything, and they charge a fucking arm and a leg to install a car stereo. I, I hate Buy? Best Buy too, and I will never shop there again once they I quit. I think you mean Worst Buy. Well, like, I was gonna just get my shit and, like,. I figured, oh, you know, because the local stereo shop, if you buy from them, they Sweet. install for free. Best yep. Buy charges like $60. We didn't get to the top by charging the le least. I was just like, man, fuck that, so, you know, I could I could install it myself, I'm a fucking electrician, but why bother if the local stereo shop will do it for free? I don't know, but anyway, I thought of you, Fist, when I was sitting there staring at the guy with the knife, and I was just thinking, God, why the fuck do I care about this so much? I don't know, why do you care about this so much? I don't know, man. I don't know. If I hadn't already called the cops, I probably would've just let the guy go. I don't know how to quit you. I mean, it's not even your fucking money, dude. I mean... Yeah. No. I think the next time I see a knife, I'm just gonna let it go. My manager did actually pretty cool with that. They don't like him when I catch people with blades Come on, get low before you die! But this guy, Fist, was so fucking stupid. He, no joke, was out of the store in the, the, he was technically out of the store, but he was still inside the building. And I was like, oh, the door alarms buzz. And I was like, hey, uh, do you have something to eat? He, he walked back into the store and was like, oh no, I have plates in my back. They set these things off. I said, you wouldn't happen to, uh, the, uh, have something uh, in the, your front? And he says, what? And he kind of adjusted his pants. And I said, eh, that white box right there. And then all of a sudden he's like, oh, I have a phone. And it was like, yeah, you need to come in the closet, bud. Yeah, he sounds come pretty in fucking the closet. dumb to me. I wonder yeah, if he, he realized that if he would have just kept walking, there wouldn't have been shit you could have done. I know, and that's why I, that's why I didn't understand it. Because not only that, you know, instead of getting just a ticket because he brought a blade in, he gets the felony arrest, and he gets leaves in handcuffs. But yeah, I mean, if he would have just kept fucking walking, it, yeah, he probably wouldn't even got caught. Basically. So wait, is your best buy is your best buy in a mall? No, but like no, we have this like vestibule. Thing. It's not. I mean, technically, it is my store, but it's kind of one of those things that it's it's not really the store. I mean, if you're in if you're in the vestibule, you've already left. The vestibule. Oh. Is that what you're I know about? a guy who used to rip off stores in the mall all the time, and what he would do is just fucking leave the store, even if they knew. I tail okay, it to the bathroom, the fucking the ditch any tags or anything off the shit, and then just walk out the door. Yeah. No, Chopper's after you, get out, crazy. Crazy. I mean, get out of the jeep, get out of the jeep. The deep. amount of stuff they lose is absolutely crazy, it's like 30%. Well, and the mall cops are a fucking joke, so... Yeah. Why isn't my parachute working? I mean, I never, I never did that shit, but that, that was too petty for me and my homeboys, but the fucking... I knew guys who made a living off that shit, fucking shoplifting and pawning and eBay and shit. And yep. Those guys did all right. Two hundred ninety nine dollar phone. Well, for a pay go phone, it's kind of expensive. Oh wow. Okay. The thing about shit like that too is a phone is something that if you're smart about it and you ditch the fucking packaging, it's something you could get out pretty easy. Well, yeah, he uh, he uh, he tried to take the whole package. And what's even funnier about it too is his buddy told him what to do. Because I've been losing these things in the exact same way he tried to do it. So he came and tried to do it and then busted his stupid ass because he sucked at it. Oh well, see that's dumb. I mean he already had the thing stuffed up in his fucking pants. He should have just went into the bathroom, ditched the pot packaging and threw the phone in his pocket. That's what the other guys were doing. He tried to leave with the entire packaging. 
Yeah, see, I mean, and then even if you caught him with the phone in his pocket, he just could have said, this is my phone, and you I can't wouldn't prove even, it. And... I wouldn't have even bothered trying. Yeah. I'm not going to go to jail because I want to save my boss some money.